Me and my best friend, Heather, she lost her dad to cancer several weeks ago. And I want to share with you the best eulogy I have ever heard. And it was perfect. And, and the reason I share this with you is because, yeah, well, you're going to be at a funeral more, more times than not. And what she did was masterful. And uh, it was just a fine example of what I want to strive for when I'm doing my speeches. And after all of the eulogies and talking about her funny dad, um, it was, it was great. There was a guy who's there who knew her, knew him for 70 years. At the end, she did her eulogy and it was authentic. It was in the moment. She wrote it at midnight and just pulled it together. And it was just so perfect to be able to connect with everybody and share the humor that's living through her um, from her dad. And it was just so beautiful and it brought everybody up. We, we were we were laughing and it was just um, wonderful. And it's just a model to me for when I do my speeches. I want to be that in the moment and present. Great job, Heather. Super proud of you. Speech for Ford. Robin was actually the one that was blessed with dad's good looks and his entrepreneurial spirit. But, but what I inherited as my grandma, can you hear me, grandma? Can you hear me? Grandma, can you hear me? Okay. <laughs> when I was born, um, first thing grandma said was, well, Jerry, she's got your big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Here I am using it. <laughs> um, Okay, mom wants to clarify that she has a small mouth and so her teeth were crowded. So my bigger mouth allowed for my teeth. Okay. <laughs> I did not learn that until just a few years ago. I was like, geez, grandma, that's rude. <laughs> anyway, um, I also got dad's smile, so I'm happy about that. And so dad loved jokes, right? Who here? had a joke told by my dad, right? <laughs> Almost everyone. Now you'll have another one. So uh, one of the jokes my dad told me that that I, uh, he told a lot, but this one I remember, and it's kind of, you know, fitting for today. So forgive me if you've heard it before, but um, so this gentleman, we'll call him Steve, uh, traveled to New York City and on a red eye. So he, he um, you know, has anyone ever done that? You know, jet blue or whatever, you get to, the airport about 5 a.m. or something, you're just like dead tired. So he hails a taxi, gets in, taxi driver, um, Bert, we'll say, and he's like, I'm going to Midtown Manhattan. And, and so the driver said, okay. And they just drive and Steve falls asleep and it's all quiet and nice. And then they're getting towards town and Steve reaches forward and taps the driver on the shoulder and the driver's like, whoa. And he swerves off and hits a car, and he's like, oh my gosh, are you okay, man? And the, and the driver's like, yeah, but what's up? And he goes, well, I used to drive a hearse. I'll be here all day. One of the um, reasons I love that joke, too, is I went to New York with my folks, and Robin did too, and um, that was really special. Dad traveled, as Norma alluded to, um, Dad took us a lot of fun places, and and uh, New York was one of them. And one of the times I asked Dad, I said, Dad, what's been your favorite thing in your life? And he said, family vacations. And um, one of the ones we recalled was, we did a lot of traveling in our camper vans. And uh, <laughs> I don't know where we were, Mom probably knows. But we were <laughs> somewhere, and it was like, and you know, we were a frugal family. So uh, Dad was out there with a the Coleman stove. It's like raining, practically hailing, windstorm, and us girls are in the van with Mom, and Dad comes in, <laughs> and, and we're all sitting in there, and all of a sudden the Coleman stove just tips over with our spaghetti dinner. <laughs> so that was, that was a good memory. Um, <laughs> really fun and uh, dad was also really good advice Robin and I were recalling some of the things like never give a sucker an even break right uh, he always said in the WC Fields accent and let's see can't go escape in a buffalo herd yeah uh, I didn't know that was a song until years later he swore it was um, him and Uncle Mike yeah you put the lime in the coconut just you know 
drink it all up. I was like, what? And he, my dad was a, you know, he was a man's man, but he was so awesome about civil rights, like you said, and equality, and his, um, and he was empowering to me and Robin, and he also said, that's right, the woman is smarter. <laughs> Very good, <laughs> Bonnie, yes. <laughs> um, and uh, he also, one of his biggest well-known sayings, and we've talked about his job integrity, is really like one in the hand is worth two in the bush. And then um, we think that that's how we were named. I'm Heather a Bush and Robin's a bird. And one of my favorite um, uh, work stories, I mean, Dad had so many stories about where he worked, like some watermelon place that they would accidentally, oops, drop it. And so they got to eat it. Um, <laughs> Uh, but one of my favorites was, this was uncharacteristic of dad, but, and I have never uh, done this, but uh, he was a forklift driver, and uh, he said one day he, uh, he got so fed up that he just drove the forklift into the side of the warehouse, raised it up, and then walked off the job. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, poor dad. That was, uh, <laughs> uh, must have been pretty, you know, he was very tolerant, so that must have been quite a thing, but... I thought it was awesome, and uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, and and uh, he he loved family, you know, he loved me and Rob, you know, especially loved mom, and that was really obvious. Like, you know, I'd see him come home, and he'd, he'd give her a hug, and you know, I'd pat her on the on the behind, and <laughs> he was so loving, and um, but especially in the more recent years, I remember at Thanksgiving a couple of years ago. We were, Dad had us go around and say what we're thankful for, and, and he's like, I'm thankful for Helen. And I just thought that was so sweet. And then I was waiting for him to say, and Robin and Heather. <laughs> 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 it's okay. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I just um, wanted to say that I know this week, um, Dad's, you know, Dad and Uncle Mike are up there making those angels laugh so hard, they're crying out tears that they're turning into snowflakes, right? So, um, we're so just so glad that everyone could be here and that the that the uh, weather cooperated, so that was great. And um, I just, uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you. And I want to say one more thing about family. Dad um, was so compassionate and a great dad to just me beyond me and Rob. My friend Connie and Christy and, and Stacy and Tracy and probably Robin's friends too, that, um, and you know, people we didn't even know, and the comments have been wonderful. So thank you so much. Love you. Always encourage people that when you think of any experience or story later on, 